It's a huge vacation week, to state the obvious. Millions of families will be traveling for the fourth. This year, though, some people are trying something very different, something that does not involve a hotel. Sounds a little novel. Imagine taking big trips while still enjoying all the comforts of home by renting houses that belong to complete strangers. And many of these homes are an adventure all their own. Here's ABC's Rachel Smith. There's some of the world's 300,000 cool and quirky rentable properties in 34,000 cities and nearly 200 countries on Airbnb.com. Would you vacation in a London water tower? An igloo dome in Greenland? Or sleep off a German hangover in this beer barrel? People are always interested in trying out new things. Christian Iscario has rented out his properties to 80 Airbnb guests. Check out this 1940s two-bedroom, one-bath, hilltop home with million-dollar views of L.A. This is like a, a hidden gem here in Los Angeles. It seems like this would be a more intimate way to experience a particular location. It's a difference when you move into a hotel and it's completely impersonal and there's no soul. And then you come into a house and you might see some photographs of somebody and you might you kind of take that, that persona as life a little bit. I've had people ask me if my dog would stay with them. It takes a certain breed to vacation vicariously in a geodesic dome in Chile. A British house designed to look like an owl or a tree house in Vermont. Here's how it works. Suppose you want to rent this Venice Beach Airstreet. You pay a service fee to the website, plus the total price of your stay and a security deposit. Airbnb forwards your money to the homeowner, who pays nothing. You can easily deduct a broken coffee mug from your security deposit. If it's something grander, like vandalism, mm -hmm. Airbnb backs you up up to a million dollars. Have there been any drawbacks? Have there been any horror stories that you've experienced no. so far? No. You trust them with your house, with your belongings, with expensive art or stuff or rugs. And right away when they see that, I feel like people respect that and there's a mutual understanding. I think there's one misconception that you're going to somebody's house and they're staying there. I would say most of the properties, you're not sharing anything with anybody. For me to stay at this pad and One person, me back. 500, 500 a night. 500 a night. <laughs> <laughs> maybe for like a maybe special for, maybe occasion. Maybe for you cheaper, maybe for you cheaper. <laughs> Priceless is what these properties are called by many of the four million Airbnb renters who surf the net for the ultimate in couch surfing. For Good Morning America, Rachel Smith, ABC News, Hollywood, California.